Well, clearly he had some big shoes to fill when Jose Otuve went down in the WBC, but Mauricio Dubon stepped up for the Strohs in April. We're lucky enough to be joined by the Astros second baseman here on off base. Mauricio, you had a 20 game hit streak in April and your APs became really just must watch for everyone with the Astros, especially in the dugout. What was it like having your teammates so invested in that streak? I think that was that was the best thing out of everything. Yeah, the hits were, were pretty cool, but watching the guys like just pull in. I mean, there was a, there was games that I was the last at bat that I got the base hit, and I think they were more nervous than I was. And, <laughs> and it was it was it was unique watching those guys pull in for me. Oh my gosh, they were so invested. We had so many great interviews with you too, following some of those games. We heard that you had some superstitions during the streak. Care to share? Uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't cut my hair. I didn't cut my hair. I think that was the biggest one. Uh, the wife noticed that, so she was kind of like, "You gotta, you gotta cut the hair." <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, we, uh, me and Alvarez played dominoes. Me and Alvarez played dominoes. I think that's when everything started clicking for me. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> just, you know, it would be dumb for me not to pick his brain. And I think that was the best way I could pick his brain. Just, you know, like a normal chit chat and and tell me about the hitting. Uh, Dubon, tell us a little bit more about kind of what he's helped you with and, and help you as far as your approach at the plate. I'm interested in learning because I, I figure you guys have two different body types, but at the same time, any information you can learn from a guy like Jordan is, is amazing. And then I need to know who's better at dominoes. <laughs> uh, so body types were kind of similar. It's kind of, kind of like same height a little bit, but no, I'm just <laughs> no uh, he's a hitter. The thing I like about him, he's a hitter. Uh, he's a hitter that hits the ball 116, backspin out. <laughs> so I just gotta, you know, keep going with the with my line drives, and he's just saying, hey, don't drive to do too much. Um, you know, use the other way. There's a lot of hits the other way, and and that's what I've been doing. I mean, I've been I've been swinging good pitches, and and you know, just like I say, if I swing at strikes, I'm in a good position. Right. And who's better at dominoes? Uh, so we go back and forth. That's the good thing. We go back and forth. Uh, there's money involved too, so it's 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 oh. not just sports. Uh -oh. <laughs> Speaking of back and forth, you got to be part of a World Series, something not many people get to do in their life. How was it? Not only being there, winning a World Series with the Astros. Oh, it was crazy. Uh, actually, uh, after the, when the streak ended, uh, I had to face Alvarado, and I struck out, and then I came in. And the first thing I, I said was, uh, was to Alvarez, like, how the heck you hit a ball 450 feet dead center off that guy? <laughs> and that, that, that makes you think how good this guy is. And, and being part of that team, it was, it was unreal just because that camaraderie everybody had in that clubhouse. Well, these are along the same lines, uh, right? So you play in the World Series, you win a World Series, the first player from Honduras to do so. How does, what, what does it mean to you to represent your country at such a big stage? Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy, especially because, you know, never has done it before for my country. So the whole, all Honduras was watching the, 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 the World Series, and now they're more involved. They're, they're watching the, the hitting streak. They're watching the games. And I think that's a big, big commitment for the Honduran people to, you know, step in the game and come out and play. And, 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 and so they can become, you know, hopefully better than me when, when they come up. Yeah, so cool to know that everyone back home is watching. Now, having said that, the country, it's all about soccer, right? Or so we thought it, it, they're all about soccer. Um, how do you get started playing baseball as a young kid if soccer is the main sport there, yet you're a star here playing baseball? Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> You know, I grew up playing soccer, too. I'm, I'm pretty good at soccer. I tell people I'm a better soccer player than baseball player, but... Wow. Uh, <laughs> It's 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 been it's been really good. My dad, my dad always took me to the field. I don't remember, I don't remember the first day of my baseball practice. My memories are always on a baseball field. My memories are always being in a baseball stadium. And you know, it was my dad, my dad and my brother were the ones that you know involved me to this and fell in love with it. And since then, I've never looked back. <laughs> Yeah, that was the first part of your amazing story. I love watching the video about your journey and going to Sacramento with your your second family to play summer ball. And then your first ever MLB game was the Giants. And then you ended up getting traded to them, obviously having a, a pretty decent stint with that team. And now you're welcoming them into Minute Maid Park. So first and foremost, what was it like actually like suiting up and playing for the team that you adopted? And secondly, what are you looking forward to most about this upcoming series? 
you know, it was it was pretty pretty cool playing for them. Just because, you know, I, I went to school in Sacramento and just going there and watching the Giants game, um, I think, I mean, my favorite player was Crawford. And watching him play and, and watching him as a person, I think, was the thing that made me admire him the most. Just how go how he goes about his business. No, now playing, I, I just want to kick their behind. I mean, I just want to <laughs> come here and, and, and hopefully we get to see them. <laughs> okay, Mauricio, look, my, my wheels are spinning over here, so I have to ask you again. Okay, we got Deion Sanders, Bo Jackson, Stu Sports Stars. You're saying that you're better at soccer than you are at baseball. You, would you be interested in maybe uh, also playing soccer professionally and be the first, right, football baseball star but this type of football is the one you play with your feet i love this crossover <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah no i tell i tell i tell everybody even back at home like i, I want to play professional soccer like i told the guys at home I, the, the professional teams over there let me play let me play uh when i go back to honduras i play a little bit you know with my friends and and i mean, i'm still pretty good at it so it's 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 actually i'm telling i keep telling people i'm a better soccer player than baseball player <laughs> Uh, all right, let's quit playing around with that soccer stuff because you're talking about way too much. You're talking about way too much running, like back and back and forth, up and down the field. There's no way. I need to know a little bit more about second base. Now, Altuve and and Biggio, both legends, Astros legends. There, what have you been able to learn from both of these elite second basemen that you've been able to apply to your own game? You know, um, I talk to Jose a lot. Uh, if when he's in the in the in the dugout, I talk to him a lot. I talk to him about what can I do here, what can I do in this play, what he thinks about this play, uh, what's another solution I can do for for this play. So it, it's I try to pick his brain. I mean, this is a guy who's gonna be a future Hall of Famer. BJ is a Hall of Famer, so I try to pick the brain and, and try to implement it to my game. And and I'm trying to I'm not trying to be like him. And I think that was the easiest part of you know just coming in and fill out a second base because. There's never going to be a Jose Altuve. So for me, it was easy to go in and step in and say, okay, I, I, I get to be Mauricio Dubon. I don't have to be Jose Altuve because it's a once-in-a-lifetime generational player right there. All right, Mauricio, your wife, Nancy, and yourself, you, you travel a lot. I mean, you're globetrotters. Which is your favorite destination of all the places you've been to? You know, we've been to a lot of places. Bora Bora was really nice. Uh, we love Italy. Uh, I think our destination place is literally the back of our backyard. I mean, just Aww. we love Disney yeah. World. We we'll, we love Disney World. I think we every time we have a chance to go, we we go we go we go there. Yeah, that's what uh, we did a deep dive on your IG. We we're talking about this <laughs> during the commercial break about Disney World. How many times have the two of you been? I think we lost we lost count. Wow. <laughs> we, we, we go a lot. So every time we have an off day in Anaheim, we always go to Disney, Disneyland, and and Aww. we every so in the off season. So our goal is to try to stay at every Disney World hotel, in uh, uh -huh. and and in Orlando. So that's that's been a blessing, be able to do that. Disney VIPs, I love it. That's really cool. I got to ask you because I'm here in Tampa and Orlando's in the backyard. I'm always going to Disney World too. I got to ask you, what's the favorite ride right now? My, mine, I got Avatar. I love the Avatar ride. I got to know what your favorite ride is. I, I, I'm, I'm going with Rock and Roller. Rock yes. and Roller has been That's my favorite a good one. one. So I agree. Yeah, Rock and Roller has been Everest my favorite Everest is good too, Everest. Everest is yes. good. Yeah. You go yes. backwards Ex out of nowhere. Expedition Everest, yes. <laughs> I'm taking us out of Disney World and I'm taking us back to your backyard where you actually have two dogs, Marcelo and Cash. They are absolutely oh, yeah. adorable. Tell us about your dogs. Aww. So, uh, I'm a big Harry Potter fan and Cash, I call him the boy who lived because uh, he was, uh, he's adopted actually. He was, he ate rat poison when he was a, when he was a puppy. And his stomach, oh, wow. uh, he, he like, yeah, he almost died. And uh, they were going to put him to sleep. And we told him we're going to pay for everything for the vet. And actually, healthy dog now. He's a, he's a, he's an interesting, interesting dog. He's, he's funny. He's, he's hilarious. And I love those two guys. I mean, those, they, uh, if, if bad game comes, they're always there waiting for me. And then uh, they're, 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 they're my dogs. They're, they're a big part of my, my, my heart right there. Hey, Marisha, you said that you're a big Harry Potter fan. You know, LG and myself, we're big readers. We wonder if you actually read the Harry Potter collection. Have you? Ooh. You know, I haven't. I've been watching movies. I've been watching videos. I've been watching every single little thing. Actually, I went to London for the, the in the studios. I, that was the, that's awesome. the only reason cool. we went to London. Yes, yes. Legit. I'm a, I'm a, 
I'm, uh, I'm a fan. See, I think you would enjoy the book, so check them out. I will. Harry I Potter will. World has good, really good rides. Oh yeah. So which <laughs> which house would you belong to? I actually, I actually did the uh, uh, shocker. I'm a Gryffindor with. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's a good yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, so on that note, we wrap up every interview with a segment called Fielder's Choice. So I'm going to give you some rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay, ahead. let's oh get God. started. <laughs> I mean, we have a theme here. So Epcot or Magic Kingdom? Epcot. Okay, so by the way, my favorite ride, Guardians of the Galaxy, just came out. That one's so nice. I just did it, and that was unreal, too. Right? I can't believe that's an actual yes. roller coaster. The technology yes. is astounding. The engineering and is so going impressive. backwards. And right? Oh, it's so much fun. Okay, garlic fries or pupusa? Uh, pupusas. Okay, we were trying to go with, like, the giant stadium, you know, like, that whole theme. Okay, I, so... I know, I know what you're trying to do over there. And I, and I, <laughs> you're on, we are on the same page here, and we are loving it. So you're, did your mom make the homemade pupusas and all that? My grandma did. My <gasps> grandma made homemade pupusas, and they were the bomb. Oh. They were outstanding. I'm, like, hungry just hearing that. Okay, so obviously you're an Avengers fan. We saw the birthday cake that your wife Nancy got you. If you could be one <laughs> Avenger, which one would you be? Iron Man. Iron Man is my favorite one. You didn't even hesitate. You knew yeah, that right yes. off the bat. Yeah. I love oh, that. Oh, no, that's, yeah. Okay, European vacation or beach vacation? Uh, I'm a beach vacation guy. My wife is the European one. I'm, 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 a, I'm a beach vacation guy. Striking the perfect balance here. Uh, okay, we're gonna transition over to the court here. Kings or Warriors? Tough one there kings. in Northern California. No, Kings. No, Kings. I'm, uh, uh, we had, uh, me and my family had season tickets, and uh, yesterday was kind of painful, but I'm, I'm a Kings fan. My condolences to you and your family. <laughs> no, no. Okay, we heard an interesting interview with you about your approach at the plate. Line drive or home run? For me, for me, line drive. For you personally. Drives. Yeah. Explain, line please. Line drives. Yes, just because I have to flush a ball to hit it out. Alvarez can come and miss a ball and hit it out. So I got to I gotta go with the more room for error. So I, I stick with the line drive. <laughs> but if it ends up going out of the park, are you OK with that outcome? What? Oh, I, oh I'm, I'm perfectly OK with it. <laughs> One of the best mistakes you can make. Hey, listen, Mauricio, thank you so much for your time. We really enjoyed <laughs> having you. you on the show. Hopefully, we can have you back on and enjoy hosting your San Francisco Giants this week. Thank you. Thank you.